first of all, I would like to apologize for the lighting. It's almost 7.30 right now and I just got home from work and running errands. So I apologize for all of this and all of this lighting because it's probably not the best right now. But anyways, I'm going to be talk to you, talking to you today about my skincare. Um, so just as a background, I have fairly oily skin. Um, it's only oily, not a combination. Um, I have very large pores and I have fairly sensitive skin. So anything I, I put on my face is likely to cause a reaction. So a lot of the products I use have been tried and true. Um, I've been using them for a long time because they're what works for me. So I'm here to share them with you today. Um, so starting off with my daily skincare must-haves, I guess. Um, first of all, the cleanser I use is Burt's Bees Radiance uh, Facial Cleanser with Royal Jelly. Um, I've been using this facial cleanser for, I'd say about six years now, and it's what I love. It's about $10 at the drugstore. I got this one on clearance at Nordstrom Rack uh, for five. So it's a decent price, and honestly, like I said, I'll never go back. I really don't like when my skin feels like it's stripped, right? So I may have oily skin, but I just because it's oily doesn't mean I want to take away the oiliness. I just kind of want to control it, and that's that cleanser really helps me do that. Um, my other daily skincare must-have is the Burt's Bees Brightening Refining Tonic. Um, if you have oily skin, toner is a must-have for you. Uh, a lot of people think I'm nuts because I don't really moisturize my face. And I know that even if you have oily skin, you're still supposed to moisturize because sometimes it can cause your skin to get more oily if you're not moisturizing. However, um, this is my skincare routine that I've been using for at least a year now and it has really helped me get my oils under control and moisturizing has never helped me if anything it's made me break out more um, and toner actually can be moisturizing if with the right toner and I find this one to be moisturizing for me it also just really evens out my skin tone and it gets rid of any excess oils and dirt on your face um, it's great after you wash off your makeup to use this um, just to get rid of anything that's left over. So I love this one, I strongly recommend it. Moving on to my products that I use about once a week, um, the St. Ives Blackhead Clearing Scrub, I am obsessed with it. I use it once or twice a week depending on how I feel that week, I guess. But um, this is a very gentle scrub. Like I said, I have sensitive skin, so this one doesn't irritate it at all. Um, it does have salicylic acid in it, which I tend to stay away from. However, I don't feel like, I don't feel like this really affects my skin, so I like it a lot, and it smells good. It's gentle. Um, I have seen a reduction in my blackheads from it. Um, with oily skin, you get a lot of blackheads, so this is a huge help. I love it. Um, my other scrub that I use around once a week is the Vino Purely Radiant Skin Brightening Daily Scrub. I know it's daily, but I really only use it once a week. Once again, this one is very gentle. Um, it doesn't strip my face, and neither does the St. Ives one. Um, it just makes me feel rejuvenated, I guess you could say. So I do recommend that one as well. Um, and my last product for my weekly usage is the Mario Badescu Silver Powder. Um, they sell this at Ulta, or at least I got mine from Ulta, but it's one of Mario Badescu's cheapest items. I think it's about $12, so it's really a drugstore price for this. And when you open it, it's actually just white powder, um, which when I saw, I was terrified of. I was like, what do you even do with this? But what I found best works best for me is when I, I have a very wet face. So I usually use this when I'm in the bathtub. Um, when I have a very wet face, I wet my fingers a little bit and I dip it in there so it becomes almost like muddy. It just sticks to your fingers and when you start rolling it into the water on your face, it, it becomes like a clayish consistency. And you just leave it on your face for about five minutes and wash it off. And I have really seen 
a reduction in my pores from this. So I really like this product. It's great. And now moving on to my products that I use once a month or on an as needed basis, I guess. So like I said, I don't really moisturize. It's a rare occurrence for me. But when I do, I use this moisturizer. Um, it's actually a Meyer brand oil-free moisturizer, but it's right next to the Neutrogena oil-free moisturizer. So I'm assuming they have very similar consistencies. I don't know. But this one I do like when I am moisturizing my face because it's extremely lightweight and it's oil free. So um, what I would recommend for oily skin is if you are using a moisturizer, just get the simplest one you can find and make sure it's oil free. So not like age renewal ones or ones that claim to do something else. Just stick to the basics of the product. And if you can, um, all natural products really do help. Um, like I said, the cleanser I use is 99% natural. I guess it's not all natural. But um, for me, I feel, I've noticed that um, I get more oily when my skin tries to reject products it doesn't like. And usually those are non-natural products, like products that include salicylic acid. Um, even though that scrub doesn't irritate my skin or make it more oily, um, but that one's kind of the exception to the rule for me. Um, also, when I'm moisturizing, if I feel like I'm about to start breaking out, I can feel the little bumps growing underneath my skin, um, I will mix this in with my moisturizer. And this is actually a moisturizer, I believe, if I'm not... Oh no, it's an acne spot treatment um, by Acne Free called Terminator 10. But when I mix this in with my moisturizer and just put it all over my face, um, I find that it really helps. It does dry me out a lot, however, it gets rid of my breakouts that day and I only use it like as needed. I don't use this every day by any means. Um, another product I like to have um, that I do not use every day is Witch Hazel. Um, this is the Pore Perfecting Toner. Uh, it's just another toner I use in addition to my Burt's Bees one. I do not use this one every day. Um, this one, so this one is kind of a slippery slope for me. So when I first, first of all, it says it's fragrance free, but it's the worst smell in the world. It smells like burning hair and pumpkin and basically if you set fire to your compost pile outside, I think. I don't know, but basically I have to hold my breath every single time I put it on. Anyways, but this stuff, when I do use it, I see a tremendous improvement in the size of my pores and in the radiance factor to my skin, I guess. Um, so that's when I start using it. So I'll use this for like four or five days in a row and then I'll stop for the rest of the month. And it'll keep my pores pretty tight for the rest of the month. But if I use it for more than four or five days in a row, it, they start to get too tight, which causes my skin to get even more oily. So that's why I say it's a slippery slope. It's kind of a weird balance that I found my skin has with this product. However, um, I do like it in the initial stages. So that's why I keep it around, except for the smell part. That really sucks. Um, another product I like to use around once a month or on an as needed basis when I see that my pores are starting to get really big. As I mentioned with oily skin, you do get a lot of blackheads and your pores start to look pretty big. So I like these Fiore face strips. I like to have them around when I start to really notice that they're everywhere. Um, I have the nose strip and the face strip. Uh, the nose strip, I put on how it's, you're supposed to, I guess. But the face strip, I'll actually cut in half and I'll put on the two centers of my cheeks right here because that's actually where my biggest pores are from like here to here and in between. And then um, I'll take another one and I'll put it on my chin. I don't have big pores on my chin, but I do get blackheads on my chin. So these really help. I like them a lot. Um, they hurt to rip off, but they help. And then the last thing I want to touch on is this Mario Badescu Rose Water facial spray. Um, I like to have this around just to spritz on my face. Um, 
you know, like when your face gets oily and it's just a greasy feeling, this really helps counteract that feeling. The last thing I wanted to touch on is my makeup wipes. Um, I actually just use these Equate Original Clean Wet Cleansing Towelettes from Walmart and they're super cheap, they're super gentle on my sensitive skin, and they get my makeup off. That's about it. If you have any questions, please let me know. But um, thank you for watching and please subscribe.